So how is the coffee in t- uh, industry right now in Kenya? The coffee industry is uh, uh, actually blooming. We mm-hmm. can talk about the whole continent, not just even in Kenya. Mm-hmm. When we look at the past decade and to where we are in 2022, mm-hmm. the consumption is rising. So mm-hmm. meaning the knowledge out there is spreading. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can say there is light at the end of the tunnel mm-hmm. for the expertise to uh, have in the industry for maybe a decade plus. Yeah. There is a rise up in consumption which we are looking into that direction. Mm-hmm. So yes, the reception of coffee, the coffee culture is coming back to mm-hmm. Africa. Mm-hmm. Kenya to be precise, being one of the growing uh, uh, origins of coffee. Mm-hmm. We are proud of uh, the coffee that we produce in the world and mm-hmm. we would love to mm-hmm. brew and enjoy the coffee back at home. Okay, so do you think this is a potent area for investors to put their money in? Uh, 100% yes. Yeah. Yeah, coffee mm-hmm. is one of the most, uh, the second traded commodity uh, mm-hmm. after the petroleum mm-hmm. on the world global exchange. So, meaning is a kind of a, a business that if you're passionate, mm-hmm. you know what you're doing, yeah. and you're determined, mm-hmm. yes, you can invest. Okay, so what are some of the factors that would influence or affect the export industry of coffee here in Kenya right now? Uh, the export margin or the kind of regulations that are put on exports, mm-hmm. we could say, are much more fair mm-hmm. compared to the regulatories from the ICO, Ken Trade, Ken Coffee Directorate, and uh, Ministry of uh, Agriculture, mm-hmm. uh, which at least states there are no room for error when mm-hmm. we export our commodities outside the globe because mm-hmm. we are sending up our name. Mm-hmm. On, uh, product that we believe in. Mm-hmm. So the export, yes, Kenyan coffee is consumed in many countries. And okay. when you look at the uh, brew inside, mm-hmm. Kenyan coffee is treated as one of the best coffees for mm-hmm. blending mm-hmm. with other origins. Mm-hmm. So to find Kenyan coffee is like um, gold. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. in many other origins that are growing coffee. Okay. So we are proud of that mm-hmm. and we we appreciate the farmers put more efforts not to cut the trees down mm-hmm. because we are the consumer section, we guarantee yeah. there is a real, uh, payback mm-hmm. very soon. Okay. Yes. All right, now let's get into the gist of the conversation. I know now you are a CEO of Joam Hino Coffee. So I want you to tell us much more about what you offer at Joam Industry. Uh, so Joam is an umbrella brand. Mm-hmm. We deal with a lot of uh, as project into the coffee dome. Okay. We've been into the coffee industry for 26 years, mm-hmm. doing the exports, mm-hmm. uh, selling our uh, Kenyan coffee across the global market mm-hmm. for many customers consistently. Okay. Uh, we, we have a roastery where we roast our local coffee distributed to Kenyans. Mm-hmm. The roastery is located in Laverton Mall, where you can sit and enjoy Joe Wam's coffee. Mm-hmm. And also we deal with um, training, mm-hmm. we empower youths through coffee skills. Okay. Into the coffee skills, mm-hmm. we look at to the diversification and um, extensive knowledge into the CPS program. Mm-hmm. Coffee skills comes around seven skills. Okay. And these skills are more worth paying than I can do a comparison, mm-hmm. but I can tell you it's something at least if you venture into, mm-hmm. can change your purpose in life in mm-hmm. terms of career growth and financial stability. Okay. So we do trainings into the barista section mm-hmm. up to the pro level. Mm-hmm. We train roasting courses, mm-hmm. how to produce and be head of production. Mm-hmm. We train uh, or we give or empower skills into the mixology section, mm-hmm. how to mix different types of beverage that are associated with coffee, mm-hmm. some with uh, alcohol. Yeah. And 
then we also do technical uh, skill training where you can repair the machine, mm -hmm. where you can repair the grinders or the machine that are used to brew, to brew the coffee. Mm -hmm. When you look at Africa, we have around uh, less ten technicians. Okay. So the whole continent actually requires a lot of technical mm -hmm. parts. So depending on the passion mm -hmm. and with your goals and ambitions, you can choose either to do barista skills. Mm -hmm. Coffee roasting skills, mm -hmm. or, or you can do technical skills or mixology skills. Okay. And uh, the last one we mm -hmm. have is the trainer mm -hmm. skills. Mm -hmm. How to train or to be a coffee instructor. Okay. Myself, I am. I've trained across many countries in Africa, mm -hmm. across uh, GCC countries, all of them. Mm -hmm. Traveling uh, to be a consultant into coffee, open to many businesses. Mm -hmm. And they are actually paying off uh, to where we are today. Mm -hmm. So yes, coffee pays off in terms of skills empowerment. That is where we ventured into mm -hmm. uh, the skills. Whatever we have uh, gathered across the networks we've traveled in, how do we help mm -hmm. and shine light to that person who mm -hmm. need help? Okay. We don't just give you the skills, we mm -hmm. train and offer you an opportunity to work mm -hmm. through the network that we have. So we do refer or direct referrals. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one we have, the project is uh, the syrup project. So mm -hmm. we have um, come up with a new project uh, which is sugar free syrups okay. that can be used with uh, people who have maybe diabetes or problems that who do love coffee. Mm -hmm. So that is the new baby we are trying to uh, rise up in mm -hmm. the next few months to mm -hmm. hit the market. Okay. Yes. So you have talked about training different people uh, on how to produce coffee or even now the process of making coffee. Now after you have done that, what is the assurance that they are going to get jobs out there in the market? Is there enough market to absorb all these people that you train? Uh, there is enough market, no mm -hmm. surety or guarantee that when you train with yeah. us, mm -hmm. we'll give you a job tomorrow morning, okay. no, but mm -hmm. uh, we, we live with hope mm -hmm. and we venture into helping each and every person. Mm -hmm. So we uh, scrub all our hands to lift someone up. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. we will help you. Mm -hmm. We don't leave one of our own behind. Okay. We, say, say, well, we opened a training center which is two, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Out of the students we trained, mm -hmm. I sit here with complete confidence in the grace of God mm -hmm. that many have got help mm -hmm. and there are some doing better to whatever they are. Mm -hmm. Whoever hasn't got help, we call it patience. Mm -hmm. They are exercising, their uh, door is going to be opened. Mm -hmm. Only God knows when, but we try the best to uh, throw one or one to the roof. So yes, okay. we will work with you until you are able to mm -hmm. run by yourself. Okay, so you have talked about barista coffee uh, and someone would be wondering what are some of other types of coffee you deal with? Is, is it only barista? So most of the coffee that we deal with, mm -hmm. uh, either you need green coffee, mm -hmm. we will be able to source it for you. Okay. Or you need uh, technical support, mm -hmm. we will be able to help you. Mm -hmm. In the training, we can be able to uh, offer our skills. Mm -hmm. Or you need roasted coffee. So okay. the roasted coffee mm -hmm. uh, was uh, related to ensure that mm -hmm. even though we focus on the global market, mm -hmm. how about back at home? So mm -hmm. we can brew good coffee here mm -hmm. and people can enjoy our best coffee outside the country mm -hmm. when we're sharing the same platform. Mm -hmm. We can share our skills with what uh, the youth are demanding yeah. and they can be able to represent us across the globe. So mm -hmm. meaning when you are given a chance to work maybe mm -hmm. within the country or outside the country, yes. you're not only working mm -hmm. for yourself, mm -hmm. you're building Kenya's name out there in the coffee sector. Okay. Not just being an origin of good quality coffees, but mm -hmm. an origin where yes, you get good coffee, mm -hmm. we have extra chase and mm -hmm. we have support. Okay, so let me take you back now. I want to understand how did you begin, Joanne, you know, uh, I don't know, is it an industry or a company? How did you start? Yeah, because this is an entrepreneurial speech show and we want to educate our viewers on how they can be able to do different type of thing in different fields. So, yeah. Mm, working in the field of coffee industry, there is always ambitions, goals, mm -hmm. and uh, moving with purpose. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Before the work started, yeah, the red director was actually an employee mm -hmm. and I had to make a hard decision. There was that time in life when you worked mm -hmm. as an employee which uh, state to say no. Mm -hmm. I need to make that uh, impossible choice to resign and start my own company. Okay. But you really need to be dedicated. Mm -hmm. uh, please do uh, love what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, have the correct uh, advisory on the table. Mm -hmm. And uh, be passionate. Mm -hmm. 
But all in all, trust God. Yeah. Uh, he open all the doors for you. Mm-hmm. If you do not deviate mm-hmm. from your course. Okay. If you do copy paste mm-hmm. from maybe what you're doing or what someone else is doing, mm-hmm. it's a bit challenging because it will not be authentic. Yo, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So yes, you mm-hmm. have to be a coffee uh, connoisseur, coffee lover. Your background is all into coffee, mm-hmm. and then you can say, oh, I need to invest in coffee. And which angles are lacking? Which mm-hmm. holes can I fill? Yeah. For so, right, maybe to solve the problem, mm-hmm. and in return, gain mm-hmm. something. All right. Yes. So you have talked about being authentic. So how different have you been so that you can be sorted out from other companies? We know there are other different companies. So what that thing that makes you, you know, be different and for people to look for you? Speaking of the training center, we are the only training center in Africa mm-hmm. who offers uh, extensive knowledge in coffee skills. Okay. Uh, probably being the first one to offer coffee, coffee roasting skills mm-hmm. and also uh, the technician skills and mm-hmm. also the trainer skills. Okay. So that's why we stand out, mm-hmm. not to boast, mm-hmm. but offer a solution to the entire Africa. Not looking at Kenya only, no. Yeah. We want also our brothers to follow our path. Maybe mm-hmm. the right one they choose so mm-hmm. they can be able to tap into the light that we've seen. Okay. Yes. So there have been complaints about, you know, uh, exported coffee being finer than the coffee that is being distributed here locally. Yes. So I don't know how different are you, how do you know that this is the best coffee for you to give your clients? I think that narrative needs to be disrupted. Mm-hmm. Um, that narrative, I don't know how we can do it to our fellow country men, Kenyans. Yeah, yeah, sure. The coffee that is in our retail market, <laughs> any brand, any coffee roasting company, mm-hmm. uh, including Joma, yeah. the coffee that you might receive is good quality coffee. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, this narrative of saying we export good quality coffee and we give Kenyan coffee shit coffee or low quality mm-hmm. is a bit troubling. Yeah. We really need to gain confidence in our uh, people handling the coffee sector. Mm-hmm. We have good quality coffees across. Mm-hmm. If you want to do a uh, comparison, mm-hmm. we are welcoming you. Okay. You can buy all the brands and mm-hmm. compare them yourselves. Okay. Is the right time or the high time for African to uh, believe in themselves, mm-hmm. especially Kenyans in our products? Mm-hmm. We really have to embrace by Kenya, mm-hmm. build Kenya. Okay. Yes. All right, now let's talk about inflation, which has hit every sector. And of course, fuel have been low hiked, and a lot of things have been hiked. So, has it affected the coffee industry right here in Kenya? Uh, yes, sure. The rise of dollar actually mm-hmm. is 100% because coffee is bought in dollars during yeah. the national auction year. Mm-hmm. The trading of coffee is fewer dollars. So, the dollar is affected mm-hmm. 100%. Any person behind coffee. Mm-hmm. We feel the pitch. Yeah. Uh, when everything changes, yes, we might feel, mm-hmm. and we readjust. Mm-hmm. Uh, that adaptation is the key. Mm-hmm. Trying to know this is the industry that I do love. Mm-hmm. Even though things are changing according to the current situation, mm-hmm. how do I adapt to this crisis? Okay. How do I move around mm-hmm. instead of creating a grave and crying mm-hmm. and maybe being so uh, sympathetic of everything? Nope. Yeah, sure. You rise above the uh, storm mm-hmm. and figure out. If I have to stay in the business, mm-hmm. what am I going to do next? Mm-hmm. So being proactive is the key thing mm-hmm. to stabilizing a business. In any, any angle you will be. Mm-hmm. To adapt, I think, is the secret. Ad- Adaptation. Ad- yeah, okay. Yes. All right. Now, before we wind up, I want to know, how do you get to market in now, Joanne, in the uh, coffee? How do you get to do your marketing? Uh, we have direct referrals, mm-hmm. uh, which means we're doing a great job. Mm-hmm. Some we have to attend the coffee expos, mm-hmm. uh, like the one that was in Milan, we right. have another one in Korea, mm-hmm. we have another one in USA. Mm-hmm. For you to tap to the world market, you really have to uh, explore a lot. So mm-hmm. you have to go to these expos, mm-hmm. uh, meet direct buyers, have yeah. a convo with them, see deals. Mm-hmm. But back in our country, we through the skills training, mm-hmm. uh, through the coffee shop that we have in Lamington, mm-hmm. you can be able to, at least you can be able to enjoy good coffee mm-hmm. and you can be able to uh, train you for free if you bought your own coffee packet. Wow. If you have no idea how to brew it, mm-hmm. you reach out to us via an email, mm-hmm. we'll give you free training via Zoom back to your home at your comfort seat mm-hmm. and you enjoy the difference. All right. Yeah. So uh, right now, I want us to wind up a bit more with that. Uh, with this. So I want you to talk to those guys, maybe who think they're jobless and there are no jobs here in Kenya. And of course, as you get to tell people much more about Joam, where they can they find you? Uh, when you're jobless, 
yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's hard, difficult to yeah. have a black man, no food, no shelter, mm -hmm. nowhere to turn into, yeah. but uh, you have a choice to make. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Jawam, uh, we have scholarship programs mm -hmm. that we help someone who has no uh, financial mm -hmm. uh, support to learn our skills. Mm -hmm. If you reach out to us, mm -hmm. even though we have a charge for the barista course that goes for 38,000, mm -hmm. five weeks training. Mm -hmm. The roasting course goes for 40,000, mm -hmm. uh, four weeks training. Mm -hmm. The mixology goes for five weeks, 35,000 for five weeks training. Mm -hmm. And the new ones will be added. Uh, you will uh, check on our social media platforms to know more mm -hmm. about the information. Mm -hmm. We are in uh, pension towers, fourth floor along the street. This is where we are in our operations. If you feel compelled enough, we'd love to make a change in your career growth, financial support, please uh, knock on our doors. They are very, very wide open. Okay. We're looking forward to help you. Okay, so maybe you can tell them what are some of the benefits that they should be expecting once they come here. Uh, the benefits are the coffee skills are high in demand. Mm -hmm. There is no single day or single moment you lack an opportunity to explore yourself. Mm -hmm whereby you uh, execute your skills and you get paid. Okay. I'm not saying it's one of the best hiring uh, institutions or kind of jobs. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying if you believe, yes, mm -hmm. you can tap into these skills, mm -hmm. you will um, be able to see the difference mm -hmm. in terms of your growth. Mm -hmm. We will be able to help you. That is a surety. Mm -hmm every step of the way. All right, now before I wind up now, Kabisa, I want to know, my viewers always ask me when I'm doing this type of shows, is there money in that industry? They love to know about money. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. There is a lot of money. Uh -huh. But you know, figures are never enough. Yeah. Uh, what you do, when you breathe in and out, that is the life that you have, <laughs> serves the purpose to the reason why you're on earth. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, it is all about fulfillment and serving your purpose. Yes. It's not about money. It's not about money, but yes, there is a lot of money. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Lee, for giving your, us your insight on Matters Coffee industry. And that is where we are going to wind up. But before we do so, we are now going to shift gears a bit onto the other side. We are now the process of making coffee is being done. Stay with us. All right, thank you so much for staying with us right here on Entrepreneur Speech. I am joined by one of the workers right here. Maybe now you can get to introduce yourself to us and what you do at this process. Yeah, okay. I'm Kelvin. Okay. I work, as in, uh, I work in Joam Coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm the one who mostly handles the green coffee. Okay. Roasting and uh, assessing the quality. Mm -hmm. yeah, as you can see here, mm -hmm. We have different grades of coffee as you can see. Okay. So in coffee you have some different coffees after milling, mm -hmm. you have to grade them. Okay. So that you can go for mm -hmm. the auction mm -hmm. parts. Mm -hmm. So this is the sorting. Okay. Uh, we were sorting some coffee mm -hmm. to remove some defects. Okay. This is some kind of roast, mm -hmm. some different kinds of roast. Mm -hmm. So this one depends on the the client. The client. Yeah, or not the client deserves mm -hmm. and wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe we can do some a little bit of roasting. Okay. Yeah. So so we are going to proceed on the next stage, which is now roasting. Yeah. Alright, so what when did you actually start doing this? Has it benefited you? Do you think there's enough market to do this? Uh, there's enough market. Mm -hmm. We just have to have the passion of the coffee industry. Okay. And be resilient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's now proceed to the other side. So this is my small sample roaster. Okay. This is normally used. Okay. So what do we have here? This is my sample roaster. Uh -huh. It's a pro box. Okay. So this is the machine I normally use mm -hmm. for roasting my small samples. Okay. We normally roast around 60 grams, 70 grams, mm -hmm. according to the okay. the number of cups you want to mm -hmm. taste. Mm -hmm. So you normally treat the coffee with protein. Okay. Uh, then you feed it. Mm -hmm. And then watch the process. Mm -hmm. All right. The coffee changes the color. All right. So that is what we are going to do right now. Yeah. All right. So uh -huh. this is now how you normally feed it. Okay. Make sure that the temperature is okay. Mm -hmm. And 
then we wait for the process to change the colors as we watch the colors. So the, uh, there's a moment when the coffee cracks, okay. like the popcorn. Mm -hmm. So that's when you get, uh, you have to be keen. Okay. So that you can, if it's medium roast, mm -hmm. you can just uh, identify the, the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. So if it's dark roast, you must use the, uh, you prolong the roast time. Oh, right. Yeah. So there are different seeds which are crushed with different, uh, you know, no. temperature or something? Uh, it depends with the variety. Okay. But for rapid plants, it's normal time. It's normal time, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for the robust, it's a bit hard. Mm -hmm. So it, it will take a bit longer. Okay. For it to acquire the medium roast. All right. But for the Arabica, mm -hmm. you just watch. If you want the medium roast, mm -hmm. You have to keep on checking okay. and the time. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to make the espresso, espresso like beans, mm -hmm. the dark roast, mm -hmm. you prolong the, the roasting time. All right. That time. Okay. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. So from there, where, yeah. where else do we move? After roasting, mm -hmm. you can cup the cup. Okay. There's a process of cupping mm -hmm. where you normally grind the coffee mm -hmm. and then you cup. And then you cup. Yeah, you sip. In the you, same same area. Yeah. All right. As you cup, you cup, mm -hmm. you, you take a sip of the spoon, mm -hmm. and then you spit it out. Okay. So that you can, and then you clear the so that you drink some more water mm -hmm. to clear the palate. Oh. So that you can differentiate different kinds of mm -hmm. coffee, All different right. lots that you have in your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. So, so this... that's the whole process of mm -hmm. uh, cupping. Mm -hmm. Uh, testing the quality in the coffee. Okay. That's the process that you have to follow. All right. Thank yeah. you so much for sharing with us. Uh, now we're going to proceed on the other side. All right. All right. So after now roasting, what now do we expect in this area? So after roasting, mm -hmm. uh, the process here that is uh, in the espresso machine mm -hmm. is where we grind coffee. Okay. And press it at a 900 bar pressure. All right. And then uh, we extract an extraction called espresso, which blend in the we then steam milk, mm -hmm. then blend the espresso with steam milk mm -hmm. as per the required beverage. All right. Okay. So we use milk, not water. You know, there's black tea, black coffee, and white coffee. So tell us which coffee do you use now? So for this machine, you can do coffee without milk. Mm -hmm. and you can also do coffee with milk. Mm -hmm. For coffee without milk, we do um, canola and black. But coffees with milk, there is cappuccino, mm -hmm. there is cafe latte, okay. and uh, there is uh, Alright, so what is the name of this machine actually? This machine is called an espresso machine. Mm -hmm. It's made by Simoneria, but its brand name is called Aurelia 2. Aurelia 2? Yes. Alright. Right now we want to see now the process of you making that coffee. But for that person who's wondering, why did you decide to venture into the coffee industry? Does it have money? This is an entrepreneur speech show by the way. Okay. Yes. So I ventured in uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, Fabian was an accountant. Okay. Uh, it's in my job to venture into coffee because it's something that I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. Very young in coffee, but mm -hmm. somehow I saw gold. Alright. So that's why I came to coffee because there is growth in coffee. There is growth. Alright, so do you, do you think people are now embracing coffee industry here in Kenya? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can see coffee shop coming mm -hmm. up. You mm -hmm. can see young people coming up with coffee shop. People from actual these institutions. Okay. They have come up with coffee shops. So there is mm -hmm. so many so mm many -hmm. uh, so many places that have not been tapped, okay. of which is an open market for everyone. All right, now let's get into the gist of the show. Right. I want to see the process. All right. Welcome. So the first thing, mm -hmm. you have this, which is called the paper filter. Okay. You remove it from the group head mm -hmm. and wipe it, wipe it off. Okay. And then here we have a grinder that grinds for us coffee. Mm -hmm. So now they are, they are being, it's like a blender. So it's a little blender. So there are coffee beads here yeah. that are grinded to small cut mm -hmm. so that we can create room for brewing that coffee pot water, okay. which is around 92 to 96 degrees, mm -hmm. that's 9 bar pressure. Wow. So there is pressure in group for this coffee to be brewed. Okay. So this, by using this, you just even distribute your uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. When using this, which is called a tamper, okay. you press down, mm -hmm. compact mm -hmm. that grounded off, All right. which is around 16 grams. Alright. Then after that, mm -hmm. we crush a good head. 
So what is the difference between now the person who makes coffee at home, just boiling the water, and now using this, uh, you know, machine? So for this machine, mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, because now water is, uh, coffee is being brewed under high pressure. Oh. It's pressure involved. Mm -hmm. That person who is at home, there's no pressure involved, which is called filter coffee. So this mm -hmm. is expressed coffee because water is being brewed under high pressure. Okay, so now we are, we are going to wait for it to see. So this is black coffee. Uh, this is called an espresso. All right. So which is in the ratio of one to two. Mm -hmm. This coffee is a uh, balanced extraction mm -hmm. because we added in around 16 grams. Mm -hmm. So the 16 grams that was extracted mm -hmm. and another 16 that is water. All right. So it comes a balanced extraction. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So from there, now so where? From there, uh -huh. serving me in the steaming jar. Okay. For the steaming jar. Mm -hmm. All right. And this box is called. Uh, this one is called. Uh, it's called a steam one. Mm -hmm. So this is which what you use to test the cold milk. Okay. To the best level to blend in the espresso. Because these are the special of the espresso you need to blend in to make a nice cappuccino or a nice beverage. All right. You take my jug. Mm -hmm. Two hundred ml of milk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me cut to short. So this, this, now right. this one is the right. last process. Now this is the last process. So we blend the milk and the espresso. So this is where you blend in the espresso mm -hmm. and milk. Then start around 65 degrees. Okay. To bring the flavor notes of chocolate mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. fill in the mouth. Wow. Okay. Let's see that. So you do your first part. Mm -hmm. This is a form of art, actually. You know, this is art. Yes. Everyone wonders, like, how did you do you form love shapes? Wow. So, uh -huh. the way you texture your meal mm -hmm. and the way you blend in the espresso in the meal okay. can be able to do a nice Wow. So you have to learn about it so that you can uh -huh. be able to pull out. Nice. All right. Thank you so much for sharing with us your skills. All right. Now, we're in the last part of the show. So, now, thank you so much for joining us. So maybe you can get to introduce yourself to us and tell us what you do now at this area. Okay, I'm Barista Stephanie from Kenya. Okay. And uh, today you have a privilege to be on our future table. Okay. When coffee arrived in Kenya, we actually welcomed coffee with various methods of brewing. Okay. So in this table we have the filter coffees and here we brew types, many types of different coffees. Now we have the V60, mm -hmm. we have the Kalita, we have the Aeropress and we have the Chemex. You okay. see in this table, mm -hmm. all of these apparatus they brew different type of coffee. Okay. Yeah. Alright, now where do we begin? In filter coffee? Yes, yes. It's all about the customer preference. Here, mm -hmm. now the customer is the one to choose the best cup that he wants. Mm -hmm. If maybe the customer wants the coffee which has low acidity mm -hmm. or coffee which, which is very strong and light coffee, okay. now here you are in the right place because actually we know how to give you what you want. All right. Yeah. For instance, now I'm your client. I don't know about coffee, yeah. but maybe uh, just choose for me which you're going to show us. It all depends with the weather because actually uh -huh. it all depends with the hours of the day because mm -hmm. even if, if it's morning hours then you need a strong cup for you to, to enable you to wake up all right so for now i'll just bring your v60 with h18 gram all right let's yeah. start now and start mm -hmm. okay.
Now what he's doing uh-huh. is creating the filter paper. Okay. So that you can remove the chlorine in it. Oh, there? The chlorine, because the filter paper has the chlorine. Oh. So for the customer to be safe in our hands, uh-huh. we have to take care of them. So now he's preheating the paper to remove the chlorine in that paper. Okay. Yeah. So what about that person who thinks maybe they have a gas and they can probably just boil water? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, actually, you know, for the standard brewing, we okay. have the apparatus, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you cannot complete your V60 minus the filter paper. Oh, the filter paper. So that you can filter the residue. You don't want the, the particles to get in your cup. Okay. You want a clean cup, right? Okay. So if you want a clean cup, then you can do the filter paper. The filter paper. So yeah. you can't use any other, for example, jug and use now the filter paper also? Uh, in in filter papers, we have different and uh, many methods of brewing them. Okay. So now we are using the pour over methods, and the pour over method, you can see, mm-hmm. they are saturating water over the coffee grounds, right? Okay. So here we mm-hmm. brew coffee mm-hmm. with the minus jiko and gas. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's a magic. All right. So after that, what next are we doing? Are we through with that? No, we are not through. We are not through with that mm-hmm. because there are stages. Oh. We have the first pour, mm-hmm. and now they are doing the second pour. Okay. The first pour, mm-hmm. the essence of what they were doing the first pour is just to prepare mm-hmm. their coffee bed. All right. Then now the second pour, they are going to 150. Mm-hmm. It's the filtration stage to okay. mix all the components in their coffee. All right. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, uh, Kidogo mm-hmm. as he gets to do what he's doing. Why now? What? Why did you decide actually to venture into the coffee industry? You know, coffee itself is love. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So you have. To love coffee mm-hmm. so that you can be loved and me coming to coffee mm-hmm. uh, I have a lot of passion about coffee okay. so I want I came here to to learn more about coffee and to understand it well to have a vast knowledge of it all right yeah so do you think Kenyans have embraced coffee in the right way that you would love them to I don't think if they have embraced mm-hmm. the coffee because actually mm-hmm. most of us Kenya we do we do the majani chai, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So coffee, mm-hmm. I think in five years to come, then you are taking coffee to the world. All right. So what are some of the conditions that maybe the coffee, uh, those people who have ventured into coffee or other Kenyans to make them now embrace coffee, what should be done? You know what should be done? The coffee actually, we have the, the belt, the, the coffee belt. Mm-hmm. And when you are, when you want to plant coffee, first of all, you just have to to watch your climate around because coffee cannot grow anywhere. Yeah. And I think most farmers, they tend to take it so expensive because doing the harvesting, doing the processing, all the methods, transportation, I think it's very expensive. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So maybe if, maybe if the government can maybe some sponsor those farmers who have the passion to, to grow their coffee, then I think we can take coffee to the, to the next level. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now he's waiting. Mm-hmm. Then we can. We have a different main method. We have another. This one is called aeropress, mm-hmm. and this one uses pressure to brew it. So okay. if you can just see how pressure can brew coffee, then you can be thrilled. Huh? All right. So yeah. you want us now to go to the second part of it. Yeah. If they are finished. Yeah. All right. So you can explain to us what is happening there. There we have aeropress and this method we choose the press method, right? So in coffee we can brew it under pressure. Now it's preheating it. Okay. We preheat the filter paper. Now here we preheat the apparatus to remove any foreign tests, right? Wow. Because actually you know the, our customers, we love our customer, we don't want the customer to complain about their stomach, right? Yeah. So we take good care of them. So now it's preheating preheating the apparatus. Okay. So after that, what else are we doing? He's place, placing his coffee, uh-huh. then he saturate water over it, then he stir it. Okay. After stirring it, he'll fill up the the, mini, the water. Mm-hmm. After filling it up, then he, she will invert it in her cup, mm-hmm. then press it nicely. Yeah. So now that is the last process actually. Yeah, that's the last process. Okay. Yeah. This one is just the same. Mm-hmm. This one we call it Chemex. Okay. Yeah, and in Chemex, it has, it has the same method used here. Mm-hmm. It's used the pour over method. Okay. So here it's just the same. The way we we have seen it here, now it's going to implement everything there. It's going to preheat the paper to remove the chlorine in the paper. 
Oh, so we are doing the same thing but using different methods. Yeah, using different oh. methods. Now I get it. Yeah. But you see this coffee, mm -hmm. they have different tastes. Okay. Yeah, that's the magic in it. So do prices uh, vary from whichever method that you use? Yeah, prices vary, vary. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know here, we use, it is manual, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we are not using any machine around, we are using the hands, right? And maybe the brain. Mm -hmm. So here, this coffee tend to be more expensive because mm -hmm. it's just all about the creativity mm -hmm. and taking your time to give the customer the best thing that they want. Okay. Yeah. So in the next five years, where do you see the coffee industry being around here in Kenya? Uh, in five years, maybe if we will add more barista to come. Mm -hmm. If you are maybe interested in baristry course, mm -hmm. so you can come and learn with us at Joa mm -hmm. Training Center. You come and learn with us mm -hmm. for us to get the first knowledge. Because you know, we can't. You know, one hand cannot solve anything. So it's just a matter of a team working. If we work in a team, then we are somewhere. Like in Kiswahili, say, "Moja ni mbogo, tengano tayi." Tengano ni tayi. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for your insights. Okay. Yes, yeah. I hope our viewers have learned one or two three things. Yeah, it's okay. All right, there we have it. Thank you so much for staying with us right here at DGTV. My good name is Alice Wangira Mwangi, hoping that you have learned one or two three things pertaining the coffee industry, the process on how you get to start from the beginning till the end. Till next time, have yourself a lovely week ahead. Remember to keep it at Entrepreneur Speech. The hashtag is Money Monday. My good name is Alice Wangira Mwangi. Perfect.